What are you digging around for? All of you get out of here. Get out of here right now. Just put it here. And where does this all go? They belong in the trash. I don't need that junk. Why are you standing there? Take these fur coats to the window. In my name, doesn't it mean anything to you? I don't give a damn about your respect. You're throwing the, the boys fighter. out just like trash. Episode we one. have two city champions. We have a champion from Russia. You don't have any brains in your head, do you? Vacate the premises right this instant. The Russian stock market crash is tied to a record drop in oil prices. However, the Russian government is not planning any drastic changes to the current action plan they are implementing as of the moment. The dollar continues to strengthen. Today it has moved up by 10% for the premium. Please don't get mad, Igor. What can we do? We haven't paid for electricity in three years. And the new tenants promised to make some repairs here. And open a pub. Hope it's a strip club. At least they'll be paying well. Let's face it. Your boys, they don't bring any profit. I'm not training them so that's someone would dip in the gravy. Listen, guys. Put the cops carefully in the box and bring them down. Uh-huh. It's me again. Here's what I gotta tell you. I'm not taking this lying down, so don't rejoice yet. I'll write to the sports committee at once. Of Russia, of course. Listen, Igor. Dynamo's renting out a space. I'll get you a good price. Huh? But please take note that they want a six-month advance. They'll get their payments a closer deal then. So everyone is free to go. Just wait for my call. Mr. Igor, tell us. We aren't going to practice anymore, are we? Of course we will. We'll practice on Friday as always. We'll just confirm the venue. Have a seat and sign these. <clears throat> it's all here. Documents for the car. I'll be waiting by the car. And for today's news, the economic downturn continues to make citizens' life a challenge with rising prices everywhere. Steel prices are rising and the stock market is at an all-time low. Stand by for further announcements as the story develops. You got a problem? You sold the car. Share the money with us. Give us 10% and get lost. I don't think so. It doesn't matter if you want to or not. That's the rule, old man. Don't call me old man. I'm Mr. Davidov, who made this rule. Just give us the money, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone freeze! 
Don't move! Organize crime unit! Run! Let's get out of here! Are you a cop? No, investigator. What's the difference? It's a higher level than cop. Well, you can't afford to buy a car like this, so uh -huh. I guess it is. And you've got a sharp tongue, Igor. My salary is enough to pay for the apartment and buy potatoes. My grandma passed away. I sold a room with windows overlooking the Peter and Paul fortress. And that's how I got the money for half of this car. So, are you gonna file a complaint? No. They've already faced the justice system. All right, then. Have a nice day. Why don't you work for us as an instructor? You can teach our guys to fight thugs like that. Oh, thanks. Why not? Because Sambo's not fighting. If you change your mind, I'm at 30 Tchaikovsky Street. Let's see now. Jeans are 850 a pair. Well. What the? And what do we have here? Why the heck did we take so many of these things? Feds are already coming out of the jeans from the last shipment. Armin said he wouldn't take any more. Then we'll bring them to Nicholas, then he takes everything. Oh yes, he does, but he hasn't paid a dime for the last shipment. Damn it. Hello there. Hi, Igor. Good morning. You hungry? I brought some food over there. Warm it up yourself, I have a lot to do. So, 40 pairs, 500 for each. 35 pairs, 200 per each, and we're 51. I'll kill you! Stop running! Leave him alone or else. <sighs> wait, 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 Victor, calm down! Oh, it does blow my mind. So, 40 pairs, 500 each. 35 pairs, 250 each. How much does it make? Ah, 60 multiplied by 30. Oh. Let me throw. Hello there. Uh -huh. Victor, I've lost my glasses. Looking for these? Give it back. So you can't live without it, right, nerd? Give it back. He needs his glasses. Sorry to hear that. But not my problem. Crush them! Crush them! Stop! I've got to watch. Give it to me, then. Uh-uh. Just go, Alec. Victor, I can't leave you. Go, it'll be easier without you. Bunch of losers. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop! <laughs> Didn't the stick help? Just back off. Hey, quiet, quiet, calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not a stranger. You need to stop the bleeding first. Throw your head back and clench your teeth. Go on, go. Hold on. Wait, relax. It's a proven method. See? The bleeding has stopped. When you're home later, just wash your clothes with cold water and remove the blood stains quickly. What do you want from me? It's my business. I'll deal with it. I understand that. But my job is to mentor kids like you. I'm a Sabo coach. Do you know the Dynamo Stadium? Mm -hmm. Come tomorrow at 7. Bring your uniform with you. Do I really need that? Try it out. Your choice, kid. Victor, read aloud, please, dear. I don't like to read aloud. But poetry should be read aloud. Only then you'll be able to hear the rhythms and the music of the poem. But there's no music here. Try reading aloud, and you will hear it. 
As a conquistador in an iron armor, I left my home and happily follow my path. Mom, tell me, what is a conquistador? Well, you see, it's an outdated name already, and we say conquistador, which is translated from Spanish, which means conqueror. Do you mean those who snatched South America? Yes, I guess that's a pretty good description. Continue reading. Mom? I lost the watch. Your watch? That's right. My father's watch. How? I don't want to lie to you, but you don't need to know the truth. Victor, what are you saying? Your father gave you that watch. He would have approved. Because I defended my friend. I didn't have a choice. Besides, memories can't defend you. Oh. You and your principles. You didn't eat at all, did you? Eat what? Those pies cooked with motor oil? For athletes, that could lead to an early grave. For an athlete? There are no sports anymore. They're over, like the whole country. Sports can't be over. But people can run out of brain cells. Uh -huh. And that won't change any time soon. Did you sell the car? Why haven't you told me? Well, because it was my car. The Federation gave it to me. Gave it? They gave it to you after I had knocked on every door for six months. Seriously. Belina, what do you want from me? I received an offer. To buy two kiosks with other people. The place is good. And it's so much better than shipping products for other shops. Here. I need the rest of it. Thanks a lot. Uh... You know... Dennis is concerned about... the things that happened at the market today. Dennis who? Your son, Dennis. I don't have a son. and line up everyone follow the leader in a circle and start jogging mr davidov yes i probably won't be able to practice next month my father was laid off i see continue practicing for now we'll figure it out all right now somersaults okay keep the pace hello can i come in you came I just wanted to look around. Nothing to see here. This isn't a circus. Change into your uniform. Hey, Nefyodov, I see everything. What's your name? Stroyev. Victor. Backwards. Don't get in each other's way. Be aware of each other. Hand cart. Work, 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 work! Don't sleep, Nefyodov! That's good, that's it. Take your seats. Today I'm gonna show you a new technique. The over-the-back throw. Pavel, come on here. Don't try to do anything only with the help of your hands. You should also make your legs and back work. Capture, the squat, and... And hit the mark. Is everything clear? <laughs> Did I say something funny? It's all a joke. Oh, wow. Why is that? Because let him try to throw me. 
Fine, let's see. Come on, dude. Let's see what you've got. Who's going to grab the jacket during a fight? He'll get hit right in the face. First, Sambo is not street fighting. We should respect the opponent at all times. Sambo was initially created as an art of self-defense. Only cowards do that. Am I a coward? How would I know? Storyev has just demonstrated the necessity of following the main rule of Sambo. Always be ready for an attack. You should sense what is happening around you. You should anticipate what your opponent is going to do next. If you're not ready, you lose in the end. Do you get it, Pavel? Got it. But here among our own, when we are practicing, this isn't allowed. This is a rule, a law. And I demand that you abide by it. Is that clear to all of you? Yes. I didn't hear you. Hit me like you hit, Pavel. And now a painful lock. The one who's ready for a dirty trick fears nothing at all. In Sambo, when you give up, you tap out. When you give up, tap on the mat. I won't give up! Practice is over. Everyone is free to go. Soryev! Rules should be followed. But only those who break them win. Yes, but then he loses to himself. Which is the most terrible defeat? Don't walk away. Listen to me first. During the training session, you were only partly right. In a fight, it's not always a good thing to attack non-stop. Especially with many opponents, because if you get stuck with one of them, the rest will target your head. If you can maneuver, you should be able to grab one of them and use him to defend yourself from the rest while seeing the rest of your surroundings. Even if they're hitting me from all sides? Even then, that's part of combat sambo. However, it's also based on sports sambo, how you move, how you keep the balance, how you work with the opponent's weight. That's how it all starts. Stroyev. Stroyev. The culture of movement always defeats brute strength. You have a strong character. You might succeed if you learn to follow the rules. I won't give up anyway. See you on Friday at 7. Hmm. Hello. Hello, coach. May I come in? Yes, please come in. Are your parents home? Yes, in the kitchen. How do you do? Please come in. Good evening. Oh, how do you do? Come in. I'm Pavel's coach. Take, Take a, a seat. seat. Thank you. Igor Davidov. Nice to meet you. I've heard about your problem. I was laid off from work. That's how it is. Every penny counts now. I can't afford other things. Well, I want my son to be able to defend himself. I just can't pay for it. Perhaps when I find the job again. That's a good motor. You have a good boat? You bet. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it won't be hard to buy a new motor boat later. But not a new son. I'll train him for free. Just don't tell him about it. Say it was your decision. I'll go ahead. Hmm. Goodbye. 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 Mr. Davidov. How did it go? It went well. Your father changed his mind. So Friday at 7. See you there. Uh-huh. How is school? It's fine. And in the yard? That's fine, too. 
I wonder if it really is fine. Victor? I've decided to get a side job. But you're already working all day long. Yes, but the salary is delayed again. And the headmaster doesn't even know when they will pay us. I'm going to clean the apartment of Professor Shakov. Remember him? I told you about him. The one who spoke highly of my articles. And that's why he invited you to work as a cleaner. Stop it, Victor. Every job deserves to get respect. As for Mr. Shakov, he's already old. It's hard for him. I would agree to help him even without money. You know he has an enormous collection of works by Russian painters. He simply doesn't want to let strangers in. Maybe I should start working too. I know people earning a lot working at the car wash. Forget about it. Just focus on your studies. Besides, this is temporary until I get my salary. Victor? I'm cooking cabbage soup, and that's for three days, so please try not to eat all the meat at once. Divide it into equal pieces. What's the difference? What do you mean, what's the difference? Mom, I really need money. Really? What for? For sports. And what kind of sport? Sambo. Victor? If this is coming from your problems in the yard, believe me, it's only an illusion that you can solve a problem by fighting it out. Fights only happen when it's impossible to solve a complex problem in another way. Sambo is not fighting. <laughs> I hope so. But what exactly pushed you to try Sambo out of the blue? Because I talked to the man, the coach, and he wasn't so bad. Oh yeah? How convincing. And where's the sports club? Dynamo Stadium. It's near here. Classes are on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 7 o'clock. And how much money do you need? Well, not too much. Here. But I still need to pay for the uniform. The wrestling shoes, the coat. I have already checked the prices in the store. <sighs> Come back here. Where are you going? Dennis, what's happening? Don't you dare talk to me like that! You should go talk to your son. How long are you going to punish him? That's a nerve, don't you? Hey, you jerk. What do you want? You better get out of here. to this address. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick up the merchandise. I'll be gone for 10 days. Okay. I've already cooked a lot of food for you and Dennis. It's in the fridge. Okay. <sighs> Igor, let's just file for a divorce already. Okay. Hello? Hey there, man. Did I disturb you? Nah, it's all good. 
I heard they sent you to jail. <laughs> well, they did, but I got out immediately. The vermin retracted his testimony. He said he was paying back his debt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that jerk, he's so pathetic. He didn't have enough time to do the paperwork. What the hell is this? This is not real vodka. You can't fool me. Did you think I'll drink fake vodka? Pour it. Are those new? Did you get into a fight? Yeah, just one for the road. Some stupid thugs is really nothing. Look, be careful. Because this is not a good time to get into trouble. Why is that? Bottoms up. Do you see this bag? It's got Makarov pistols, TT pistol, and an ammo. A luxury. How did you get so lucky? I know some good people who helped me out. Keep it with you for some time. You're not being followed by the police. They won't frisk you anyway. Mm, sure, no problem. We can't risk getting into trouble with the police. Magdo is arranging a serious meeting. We should be in shape and well armed. If there's some information, you'll receive a message on your pager. That's a go. Uh -huh. Please. Alright, just wait a second. Ha! Hey there, buddy. Hey, Davido. Hello. I'm glad to see you, bro. Long time to see you, buddy. You're looking really good. Have you finished your training already? Yeah. It's nice to see you again. Do you know this guy? Of course I do. He does. Mm -hmm. I see. And what about you? What about me? I just can't find the time. Well, there's always time. The question is how you spend it. Igor's always saying this to me, too. Mm -hmm. You know what? Send him my best regards, huh? I sure will. What's going on? There was a shooting here. Some thugs, a mob hit or something. Well, oh. there were five dead and not one gun seen. Who said it was a mob hit? Maybe it was a sniper. No way, what sniper? It wasn't a contract murder, it was a mob hit. There were shells from a Makarov TT ah. pistol. I see. Come on, let's go! Okay, off okay, you go. Okay, bye. Glad to see you again, man. Likewise. Listen, keep in touch. Call me when you're free, all right? You take care. Goodbye. Who was that? Dennis Davidov, the champion. We practiced Sambo together. He was the best among the juniors in the city. All right, let's move, guys. Go! Double time, double time. Hello? Hello? Hey, Pavel. Did you leave the changing room open? Uh, no. I had to leave the key on the bench, coach. I see. Go ahead, run. Excuse me. How are you? Are you looking for me? Yes. What do you want? I just want to observe double my time, son's attending your time. class. What's your family name? Stroyev. Victor Stroyev. Victor. Ah. Our training session takes one and a half hours. Do you have the time? Yes. Come in then. You know what? When Victor asked me for some money, well, to be honest, I didn't believe that it was for sports because I thought he wanted to pay off the boys in the courtyard. You see, we just moved here recently. You don't know your son very well. <laughs> well, it's complicated. He is getting older, with no father. Okay, well, so you came here, looked around. Are you sure now? Yes, but... He won't take my money now. He's sensitive. And if he finds out that I came here, for sure, he won't come anymore. It would be a shame because he really admired you from what I can tell. Okay then, what do you suggest? Maybe you could stop by the house? Whenever you have time. Actually, we live nearby. I know, we are neighbors. Well, nice. That's actually even better. 
so you can talk to him. It doesn't listen to me that much anymore, but I know he'll listen to you. I'm not going to persuade him, but I can talk to him. Excuse me, what is your name, by the way? You can just call me Ludmila. My name's Igor. Nice meeting you. He was doing so well before. He even had a lot of good friends at school, and his father had been a strong presence. And what happened? He doesn't have a father anymore. A truck went into the oncoming lane, and the driver fell asleep. So it's just been the two of us for two years. My condolences. You know what hurt him the most? The driver who was careless barely got a scratch on him. Victor was trying to find him to look him straight in his eyes. My son's character is quite strong. And where do you work? At school, I teach a literature class. Actually, I have a degree in philology. There aren't many jobs in this field. For two years, I worked in a library. But I didn't get along with the director. You didn't get along. That's hard to imagine. I think you have an angelic personality. <laughs> well, you didn't see how this angel was pouring water from a pitcher on the director's head. But why? To cool him down. Mm, if he harassed you, it doesn't mean that you two didn't get along. You just stood your ground against someone awful. Doesn't matter, the result is the same. I teach other people's kids, and it's mine who becomes unruly. Don't worry about your son. Your boy has a backbone. Come in, please. I'll prepare some drinks. Thank you, but maybe next time. It's getting late. Victor? Victor, please come here. Well, at least say hello. 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 Did you come from Dynamo? We met by chance. We're neighbors, after all. Why didn't you bother telling me that your mother is a very beautiful woman? <laughs> Good thing fate intervened. Let's go for a walk. Do you mind? No. You may go with him. Well, go ahead. See you around. Hello, Mr. Shakov. Good evening to you. It's Ludmila Stroyev. I hope it's not too late. Yes, Ludmila. You want my help? Yes. Tomorrow I don't have classes I could start. I'll be waiting for you. That's perfect. See you tomorrow. Back then it was impossible for foreigners to get into the Kodokan school. But in Japan, there was a seminary at the Orthodox Mission, Oshepkov studied there. And the Japanese were then persuaded to let him watch everything that's happening. In the hall, they put the guys in rows on their knees, and the sensei walks around and lectures them for about an hour, to two or three. And then their behavior were closely observed. It's uncomfortable to sit on your knees. Your legs are numb, the guys start to fidget and grunt. Those who grunted, they couldn't take it in the end. But of course, they look very closely. But the Russian boy who sat like a glove, not moving like he was a stone, and then, when it was all over, he couldn't even get up. His legs were so numb that he had to unbend them with the use of his hands, and it was such a difficult thing to do, but he did it. Did they accept him? Yes, Oshepkov got in. The first to graduate from the school of Jigorokano. Later, he returned to Russia and organized the first school, a judo club. That was before the war, after the great Karlampiev studied with him. Well, if I needed to? I can also sit for three hours without moving. Yes, you've got a strong character. But there's something you can work on. And what's that? The attitude to your mother. You should always lean on her. Always depend on our guidance. Because the day will come when she won't be with you. And you'll condemn yourself for every dark look you gave her when she wanted to be with you. That's it. Go home. And the training sessions? Yeah, what about them? It's on Monday. At seven, as always. Are you coming? Form a line. That 
That's it. What's going on here? Who gave you all these fancy uniforms? Everyone, come here. Pavel, explain. Uh, you see, coach? Well, I thought, how come the boys are practicing in these rags? Let them at least have new uniforms. Right, Dad? You have five minutes to change and pile up the new uniforms in the corner. Hurry up! What's wrong, Dad? Everything. Everything in life has its price. It starts with something small. I've heard this from you more than once. Why do you hate me so much? What, is it because I haven't become like you? No. Because you have become like you. And who am I? You want to tell me that, Dad? What do you know about me? You don't see anything and anyone apart from your beloved sport. And me, you needed me to be your extension. And you got hurt because I didn't want that. You see, I don't want to end up destroying my life in order to have you realize your lifelong dreams. The Olympics is not happening. Did you tell them that already? There won't be any sports anytime soon. Tell them about that. Okay, you screwed up your life, but that doesn't mean you have to drag them down with you. If they stay away from you, and people like you, if I manage to do that, I'll already feel like an Olympic medalist. Good for you. You know why I am like this? I only had a coach. But I never had a father. they want they wanted me to bring money from home you should also do sports i won't be near you every time thanks a lot but i would have managed on my own <laughs> i don't doubt it you'll manage when you learn good afternoon this is for you. Good afternoon. This is lovely. Going to work? Well, Can I walk you there? Yes, it's just I need to... If you don't want me to, I'll just go. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. You've got a cool car. During a fight, you should never stop. If you stop, consider yourself toast, especially if there's a lot of guys. Out in the street, the best thing is to grab someone and cover yourself. Mr. Davidov said the same thing. Then you get it. Was it you who bought us the new uniforms, which Mr. Davidov made us return? But why? It's a long story. Sometimes it gets hard with your folks. Later on, you'll understand. Why are you speaking so formally? <laughs> We're not on trial. Why does he treat you that way? Do you have an old man? I did. See? A good father is a luxury. However, as a coach, he's excellent, so you shouldn't miss out on any of his sessions. Don't let us bother you. By the way, you on good terms with that nerd? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you should let him tag along with you. It'll help him in life. Well, if there's money. My mom is not getting paid at work, so she's doing housekeeping too. It's not enough. That sucks. They don't get paid well. But it's for a rich man. He's an old professor. Walls covered with paintings. My mom says he makes the Hermitage jealous. 
Are you serious? Well, that's good to know. Hey, what is that? Ah. Let me have a look. All right, next time. See you later, champ. Oh, a lucky ticket. <laughs> Back then, there was a situation in Tbilisi. My opponent was a local guy, so he whispered in my ear. My dear friend, I can't lose. My fiancé is watching. Ask for anything you want, but please let me win. <laughs> Did you? No. But I made a mistake, and he turned me over on the 30th second. After that, he was trying to set the table. He couldn't believe it since I was the champion, then, but I barely defeated him. And do you always speak the truth? I try to. Oh, oh. excuse me. <laughs> Are you married? Yes. Oh, I'm really sorry. No problem, it's fine. She worked in a cafeteria at our base. And where else could I have met someone? And now she is a salesperson at the market. Honestly, it's not working out. I'm going down at the next stop. No, the school is in two stops. <laughs> I have a day off at school today. I decided to try my hand at housekeeping. Well, thanks to you, I decided to speak the truth. In the beginning, I didn't feel comfortable. After you're finished there, I would like to invite you somewhere, if you're free. Are you certain you should do that? No, but I really want to. <laughs> so are you in? It's hard to get used to your sincerity so quickly. For subscriber 6954, you may look for your bag in the river. The situation is evolving so quickly. Tell me, is this the Samba way? Only by the best, for you. Thank you for the flowers. I love it. And your wife doesn't mind, does she? We're filing for divorce. You're scaring me. I hope I'm not the reason. A little. But I should have done this long ago. I'm grateful to you for speeding up the process. It doesn't matter. I'll feel guilty anyway. Please don't. I'll do my best. I'll take care of everything. Just don't pour water on me like you did with the director. And everything will be fine. <laughs> We've got flowers. What should we do next? I've never been good at courting. Cafe, 
Ice cream, champagne, a visit to the planetarium. You know what? Let's just take a walk. I like spending time with you. <clears throat> We're in trouble because of you. The next meeting is on Saturday. Steal or buy it. I don't care. Do whatever you want. But we should have all of the ammo. All of the five guns. Otherwise, I'll bury you. Victor, you said at seven. Let's go home and maybe have some tea. Have you bumped into Sharky again? Let them look for us. Victor, are you my friend or what? I'm a conquistador. In an iron armor. And I strongly believe in my star. Come on, girls, hurry up! So what's going on? Seven, well done, and a bow. One, Nothing. Two, three, Let's get some fresh air. Uh huh. Five. Thank you. Class is over. Come on, quick, catch up with me. Wait, I'm coming. What's wrong? It's Vera from our school. Let's go. Mr. Shekhov, excuse me. Yes, what is it, Ludmila? Someone's at the door. Can you answer it? Yes, of course. Please ask who it is first, okay? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Ludmila, open the door. Your son broke his back. They took him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Fighter, Episode 2. So tell me, why did you open the door? Like I told you before, they said my son had been seriously injured. He had been practicing Sambo. Mm -hmm. Where was this? Not far from our home, near the station. How often does he practice? Three times a week. What time? At seven. What was the time then? Around four o'clock. So then why did you open the door? 
You said your son's practice was three hours away. I guess I panicked. Once I heard hospital... All right, all right. Who could have notified you about your son's injury? Which one of those people with him was the most likely one to look for you? No one. So why did you open the door? Do you have children? A son, 18 months. Then go ask your wife. If they told her something happened to her son, would she even hesitate before opening the door? How is Mr. Shekhov doing? He's in a coma. Doctors say it looks bad. Read this and sign. Hey, partner! Can you stay here? I'll be right back. Seems about right. That's 258 and... Also 259. Here, look. It checks out. Why are you giving me this? I don't need it. May I come in? What have you got? It's the same story. She isn't lying, but you can't be too sure. The only excuse she has for her actions is her emotions, but you can't find any solid proof. Then it's a real possibility that she's the informant. Here's what we'll do. Detain her for 30 days. Prepare a document saying she's working with some criminal gang. No problem. Maybe just three days? The woman has an underage son. Three days is too short. We won't have time to work her over. And if, God forbid, the professor dies, the DA's office will eat us alive. The son isn't your concern. Let Foster Care handle this if she doesn't have any relatives. Yes, sir. Danita, that's not bad. Sharper and more powerful leg swing. Now that's better. Good day. Stop. Good day. How may I help you? We're with Criminal Investigation. Do you train Viktor Stroyev at this gym? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm from Foster Care. Where is the boy? Go to room 46. You can ask them there. Thank you. Detain my mother? Are you all crazy? She's completely innocent. Let her go. Let her go. Victor, please stop behaving like that. Why should I, Mom? They have no right to hold you here. They just don't want to figure out who the real criminals are. You raise your voice again, you're going to the special detention center, along with the other juvenile criminals. Forgive me, he won't do it again. Behave. Victor, dear, don't worry. It's going to be all right. It really was my fault. I shouldn't have opened the door, and because of that, Mr. Shekhov is now at the hospital. But I'm sure they are working hard to clear this up. In the meantime, I'll ask Olga to come and check on you. She'll cook your meals for you as well, only while I'm gone. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. Under the law, if you don't have any close relatives who can watch him, we'll have to contact foster care instead. And they'll take Victor in. He'll stay at an orphanage for the time being. Victor, stop it! Please stop it, Victor! No, Victor! Mom, don't beg. It's no use. I'll go to the orphanage. If these guys don't make this right, I'll go join the criminals. They're going to regret this. Victor. Well, that's not surprising. It seems like we have a criminal group right here. All in one family. How are you related to Mrs. Stroyev? I coach her son, Victor. That's all? Yeah. Then what are you doing here at the station? The boy's only 14, so I wanted to check if you are really the police. Where will you take him? We call it social services. The orphanage? I don't know. Police officer, is it really necessary to keep Miss Stroyev in prison? I mean, he's a dignified, well-educated... Hold on a second. Alonkov. Understood. Oh, you said she's well-educated, Mr. Igor? 
Listen, criminals today used to be nice and well-educated individuals. Laborers, engineers, even doctors. The sad truth is times have changed. The professor has died. Can I see Mr. Oyev? What for? For support. Sorry, the son's Sambo coach is not on the list of relatives or allowed visitors. In fact, she isn't allowed any visitors at all. Don't worry, sweetheart. Don't be scared. I promise they'll sort all this out soon. I'm not scared. Remember to keep calm. It'll be easier for you to stand your ground. All right, the car's here. It's time. You'll need a lawyer for tomorrow. Do you have one? No, I don't. Then I'll assign you a public attorney. Let's begin. Got lice? He got away, sir. Let him run. Let's wait and see what that Sambo coach is made of. There's a chance he could be our man. Mr. Davidoff, Lobov is coming down. Please wait for him. Tell him I'll wait outside. All right. for a sec. They won't let me go out. Go take the garbage out or something. Come on. What is it? Did Sharky do something? This isn't about Sharky. I need to see Mr. Davidoff. What's his address? Mm, why don't you just ask him at practice? Are you an idiot? I need it right now. It's the cops. They're looking for me. What for? It's a long story. Do you have a computer? Mm-hmm. You said you could find the address of any girl from school, right? Yeah, I can do that. But I can't now since my dad's home. <sighs> Listen, Alec. I need to save my mother. You claim to be Mr. Know-it-all, right? Prove it. I'll wait for you here. Oh, that's not good. But it's not new for someone on the inside to open the door. He was probably in on it. She wasn't. Why are you so sure about that? She's an intelligent woman who has no criminal record, but is suddenly associated with a criminal gang. Incredibly smart people will do anything if they're hungry. Bobo, what are you saying? If I'm good at anything, it's reading people. It's not her. Why don't you look for the actual criminals instead? You'd have to sell what you steal. 
And paintings aren't like Japanese TVs. You need an expert for this. Do you have one? Well, it's not my specialty, but we do have an antique specialist in another department. Alaska. When? Tonight? What's the rush, Davidov? This isn't a Sambo match. Antique items are a private business. If you barge in there head on, you're just gonna get your head bashed in. We need to find an informant. I can talk to the guy I know. Since they mentioned the boy's injury, that means they knew he was doing Sambo. They probably put him in an orphanage. Maybe he's there already. Well, it's not prison. We can talk to him. Call me tomorrow. It's weird they haven't pinned you down for it yet. If it were me, you'd be the prime suspect. Five here, over. Three to five. Target is leaving the location, moving towards Baker Street. Send someone to cut him off. Copy that. You got away? Yes, sir. How did you find my address? I just found it, sir. My mother is innocent. I know. Let's talk inside. Thank you. You want more? No, thank you. Do they know? Yes. A lot of kids at school knew. All the guys from the club. Alec, Mom, you. What I mean is, they know that you practice Sambo, but I'm the only one who knows the place where your mom worked. Did you tell anyone else? I don't know. I guess so. All right. I'll take it from here. They must be looking for you, so you can stay at my place. If that's what you want. My wife went to get goods. And my son, he minds his own business. Thank you. Don't go outside. Skip school for a few days. Maybe three. I'll make sure you can catch up later. Okay, but do you know how you'll help Mom? I promise to do everything I can, and I can do a lot when I'm angry. Between the two of us, I like your mother. I can tell. And she likes you too. Hmm. Well then, it seems we'll be all right. It's hard to take some grapplers down. Will you tell me about legendary Sambo grapplers later? Every single one. Even the older ones. From what period? They had grappling championships in the early 20th century. There were a lot of great athletes, and there still are. That's why we always take the victory. Drink up. You're saying Mr. Igor Davidov, the suspect in Professor Shakov's case, came to see you while he's under surveillance? What are the chances of that happening? He wanted to see me to discuss the case. Mm -hmm. We talked about that detained woman. He thinks she's innocent. Uh, you go ahead. They all think the same. Tell me, how long have you known him? Not long. And how did you meet? I bought a car from him. That's good. You understand the situation. You know our relationship with the investigation department. They'll twist the situation, saying we're delaying the investigation. I don't want to give them that, understand? It's better if we get going. What's that? You just received a new assignment. It's for professional training. You're gonna need to lay low for a bit. So take off your earring because you're going back to boot camp.
Hello? Hello, may I speak to Lobov? Lobov is out on a business trip. For how long? For two weeks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hello? Yuri, how are you? Hey there. It's Igor Davidov. Remember me? Oh, Igor. Haven't heard from you in ages. You're hard to forget. I feel the same. Let's have lunch soon. I'd like to talk to you. You, Stevie, and Valera. Are you free? Sounds good. Couldn't you have told us earlier? No, I couldn't. People with an empty stomach tend to take news negatively. Usually people don't talk about problems at lunch. Is that so? Then why did you call only the three of us and no one else? There's more men out there. It's not just us. Whoever invites pays, and I don't have enough for more than three people. Plus, I thought you guys deal with criminals, correct? You're still honest as always. I may be wrong, but I believe one of the men at the table is Stevie the Sensei. <laughs> the man who controls the northern marketplace and trade zone? Mm -hmm. hmm. More to our coach than meets the eye. We're on the right path. Let's go tell the others. Abbas. It's all a misunderstanding. You think I know all the criminals here, but I don't. I retired a long time ago. Moved to America. At Brighton Beach. You always love traveling. With all the experience you have had, you know better than anyone else how these things work. Dealing with metal is completely different from paintings. I know. Why wasn't Mona Lisa cast out of bronze? All right, then. Let's put it this way. It doesn't really matter who did what or who knows something. I just need your help. I'm not asking for much. Still, thank you for coming today. I'm sorry, Igor. I already told you before. I don't know anything about this. I know a guy who would buy gold in any form. But paintings? Those are just far too specific. We can pay for all this. And hurt my feelings? Let us toast. Is this all? It's all I have. Bring more tomorrow, got it? Get lost. How much did you get? What did you do? Police came to the school looking for you. I robbed a bank. <laughs> Be honest, did you tell Sharky my mom worked as a cleaner for the professor? No. How long have you two been talking? Not long. I have to give him some cash, so he'd leave me alone. How did you get it? Stealing? Yeah, sometimes from my parents. What else should I do? He can't walk with me every day, and his group is always waiting for me. Whenever you're not around, I like try to remember. Did you mention to Sharky that my mom worked for the professor? I really don't remember, okay? Well, I don't think I did. Why? Are you thinking... he did it? He's the only jerk who knew my mom was working for the professor. He could have told someone. Now that you mention it, he did say he knows some criminals. Alec, 
I really need your help. Here, take these. Those are my house keys. There's an axe in the cellar. Get it for me, and I'll wait for you at the parking lot. Let me give you a ride. No thanks, I'd rather walk. I said get in! What were you thinking? Who would talk to you about that in public? I thought we never kept secrets from each other. It's a high-profile case, as the cops put it. A high-visibility case. It's very easy to trace the source. People don't want to deal with that. But someone will, right? Yes, of course. Go to the shop. Tell security you have a rare Roman coin to show them, so they can let you in. Ask for Albert. How do you know this? I just do. There were three of them. One is dead, another in jail. He's the only one left. Why are you telling me this? Do you remember the tournament in Chisinau? When a Dagestani got me into a submission lock? I do. You gave him your ankle, held up till the end, wouldn't tap out. Do you know why? Why? You were looking at me. Everyone was. Not really. Everyone was waiting for me to tap out. You were looking at me at the clock, waiting for the bell. You believed I would hold out. Yuri, an ankle is not an elbow. I knew you could endure it. It's not about that. It's just that. We've always looked out for each other. That's true. <sighs> Indeed. All right, go on. We didn't talk about this. Also, I know of a good lawyer for your woman. Don't worry about the fee. I got it. Before you go, one more thing. I'm not sure. But I think that somebody has been following you. Wonderful. Another one. Good. One more time. Yes. Put your arm out further. Do it. Hey, well. Oh, Hi, Igor, my dear friend. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. Now tell me something. Are you still training your boys? Yes. You're yeah. still training criminals? Well, we'll never really know whether they're criminals or not criminals. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. It's possible. Well? Never mind. Well, do you have an extra sports suit in here? For you? Mm-hmm. Base, base to three. What's the situation? Base, we are in position. The target has not come out. Copy that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you with anything? Coins or military objects? You buying or selling? I'm selling. A Roman coin. Some guy at the marketplace told me that Albert could give me a proper selling price. One moment. Good 
Good afternoon. Please take a seat. Good afternoon and thank you. I have been told you have a rare coin for me. So please, may I take a look? My apologies. I didn't lie about my intentions, but that was my only choice to avoid hurting your security. So you don't have the coin? Let me introduce myself. I'm Igor Davidov, honored master of sports in Sambo, three-time national champion and European champion. I'm an Olympic silver medalist. I can sell you my medals if you want. I have a lot of them at my home. Olympic cups and golden engraved watches. And I'm willing to give all those to you for free, on the condition that you help me. How? Professor Shakov's paintings. Yes, Makovsky, Korovin, and other known names. A woman who cleaned the place as a side job unknowingly opened the door for the robbers. And the police have detained her. I need to find the men behind this so she can be released immediately. That's all I want. How can I help? I read about that horrible case in the papers, of course. And if someone offers me something from Shakov's collection, then... Then you'd immediately call the police. Sure, Mr. Albert. That's what you say to the investigators. I know who you are and what you do here, and to be honest with you, I don't care. But you'll never make any kind of money from Shakov's paintings. I won't let you. Believe me, I have prepared all the documents, and I won't hesitate in giving them to the authorities. So even if you kill me, it's not going to solve the problem. And I believe your bosses are the type who don't want their business getting out in public. One must learn how to read signs sent by the higher-ups. What did you say? Perhaps you coming here will save me from serious problems. I'm expecting pictures of the paintings today, and they are probably the ones you have been looking for. I do have a request. I don't want any blood spilled here. And you never saw me. We have a deal. He's finally here. Don't touch him now. I need 30 more minutes. Victor is waiting for me. At what time? Three. Go on, get going. I know who you are. Where are the paintings? Hey, old man! What's your problem? Uh, what paintings? This is for calling me an old man. These ones. Answer me, where are the paintings? I'm going to break your arm. Talk! What is it? Bon appetit. Where are the paintings? <laughs> Who the heck do you think you are? Igor Davidov, and I'm a Sambo coach. An innocent woman has been detained because of you. So this is how you play, Davidov. A little white goat went outside the hut. A little white goat went into the woods. I know you have the artworks. I have no plans of leaving here until you tell me where they are. Oh, and the thief's name. You stole them, old sport. Our guys just jumped the gun. Well, where is that sucker? I'll bash his frickin' head in for being late. Let him pay a fine for every minute, right? No, let's make him kiss her boots. Oh, yeah? Why don't you kiss mine instead? Hey, what the... Hey, 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 whoa, 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 easy, easy Victor. Easy. Put the axe down, okay? Are you on drugs or something? Down. Tell me where the paintings are or else. What paintings? I don't know what you're saying. The ones my mother is in jail for. I know nothing about no paintings. Calm down. You're dead. <laughs> Stop! You coward. You think you're good because of the axe? Sambo's a joke. Come on, get over here. You will tell me everything now. 
Вот ну! Трэпплер! Тома! The guns in the bag belong to the gang. The law only needs one to bring us all down. But it's still possible to fix the damage. You can pay a fine, and you can save your son and your whore. If the paintings sell, then we can let this pass. If not, we'll have a problem. So if I were you, I'd look for buyers that sit here running my stupid mouth. What's with a face, eh? You're not of the Olympics. This is life with real consequences. Hey, fellas! Dennis's dad would like to leave now. No sudden movements, just stay calm. Your girl will do her time, then she will get out. She'll taste even better after the long break. So don't worry about it. I'll ask you one last time. Where are the paintings? It's in your your country house. They're with Dennis. You're gonna rat your son out to the cops? Is your woman more important? Mom, I'll get it. It's for me. How'd it go? It was all right. Hey, can I spend the night in your garage tonight? You got two keys, right? Yeah. But aren't you staying at your coach's place? Not anymore. Why not? Just because. Can I have the keys? Alex, don't keep the door open. I'll drop by tomorrow. And bring me something to eat. Mm -hmm. Beauty, it's Davidov again. You mentioned you had a good lawyer for me. Can I meet him? Immediately. Bring her in. You have five minutes. It's my pleasure to meet you, Miss Ludmila. I am going to be your lawyer. I'll have you sign the papers today. For now, I'm going to be leaving the two of you. Thanks very much. All of Mr. Yuri's friends are also my friends. You it's know. okay, I know. Everything will work out soon, you'll see. You won't go to jail, I promise. And Victor? Victor, stay with me. We can all live together soon. Is this a proposal? It sure is. I know it's sudden, but will you marry me? We don't have I... much time, yes or no? You leave me no choice. Is it really going to be all right? I'm not. 
not going to stop until it is. Hello, Coach. Hi, where's Victor? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're a bad liar. Where is he? I think he might be in trouble now. You sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm sure. Why did you leave? I can't trust you anymore. What do you mean? I talked to Sharky. He said that the paintings... Were stolen by my son. So what? How are you going to save my mom now? Your own son did it. Didn't I promise you... ...that I would do everything I can to get her out? Let's go home. It's cold out here. And you need a shower. See that? That's the boy over there. Let's report to the station. That's right. Let the boy walk. We can't let that coach go. My gut's telling me it's him. He might lead us to the paintings. He's behind all of this. We don't need another screw-up from field surveillance. I've spoken to them, and they said they'll be sending two teams tomorrow, so that even if he loses the first one, the second team's ready. Make it three. Don't let him out of your sight. Yes, sir. I've got news. Everything went perfectly. He lost one team at the railway station. The second team is out now, tracking him. Send your men for more reinforcements. We might need the added number. We may have to clamp down on him. Yes, sir. Oh, hi there, Mr. Davidov. You know, I haven't seen you and your wife in a long time. Hi there, Leo. This this is keeping me in town. Is Dennis here as punishment? I don't see him a lot. He's always inside the house, rarely going out. No. You wanted to have some fresh air. Is he there now? No. He left about ten minutes ago, on his bike. Must have gone to the store, I guess. I'll go wait for him.
Igor! I'm sorry, Igor. I spotted some men in a car. They're outside your house. I don't know about your business, but I didn't do five years for nothing. And I remember their tricks. I know they're cops. Thanks a lot, Leo. Hey, listen. Could you lend me your car for today? The thing is, I sold mine, and I need to bring a bunch of stuff to town. I'll put some gas in it. No problem. Sleeping. Hold on, Kov. Colonel, sir. Boltsov speaking. He's loading the paintings. He's gonna move them. Are you sure? We're watching him now. Take him. Yes, sir. Stop right there. Igor Davidov, you are under arrest for suspicion of robbery. I first heard about the paintings from Ludmila, then I decided that I could rob the professor's apartment. What for? The money. I'm getting a divorce. It's for a new apartment. Hmm. And who are you with? I met them by chance. I'm not much of a drinker. <sighs> but I happened to meet them at a bar. I only know their first names, Stevie and Valera. They're not locals. I'm confused. How are they supposed to get their share of the profit after you've sold them? We agreed to meet after a month. That's when I'd give them their share. Hmm. A gang operating on trust. You can let Miss Royev go. She doesn't know anything. It's urgent. Mm -hmm. Stay with him. Mr. Davidov? Uh, uh, right, there we go. Oh, wait, who are you? I... Yes? Can I come inside? Yes. Alina Davidov? Yes. I've been issued a search warrant for this house. Your husband has been arrested for suspicion of robbery. That's not true! Stop! <laughs> Can I get up? Go ahead. Free to go. You are a bad liar. Your son turned himself in, wrote a full confession. Now I wonder, are you a bad father because you have a criminal son, or a good one because he loves you?
careful with your right fist. You got that? Now go! Fighter, Episode 3. to shreds. You were obviously way stronger. And do you remember Vera? Yeah, of course. Hello. Hello. Vera, excuse me and Victor for a minute. Follow me right this way. Come on. Have fun, everyone. What's up? What's up? Hey. Go. No. Talk to you later. All right, get going, lover boy. Pull yourself together. Do you remember how Vera never had sex with anybody back at school? She was a queen back then. Don't worry, guys, because tonight's a splendid night. So what do you want? Well, I'm starting a small thing here. A closed betting pool, strictly serious bets only. I thought you'd be interested. Care to join us? Nah. Oh, come on, buddy. How much have you earned from your title so far? 
Well, I'm earning quite a bit. And you can earn even more from this. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> Look, I'm only going to say this once, so listen to me carefully. I'm an athlete. <laughs> and I only fight for my country. You a patriot or something? Why, you got a problem with that? You're being a fool. Hey, hey, Come now. on! Come on. You're gonna die in a ditch just like Boris. This is your chance, so why Don't not take this shot? Stop it. Your career is short, five years tops. Hey, hey. You're gonna crawl back to me. Call me when you're ready. That's stupid. Yeah, sit down. Barkeep, make it a double. What about you? I've had enough. Scared, huh? But you look brave in the ring, though. And how do you know that? Because I watched all your fights. Oh, really? What is it you think I'm scared of? Tell me. Well, in this case, me. Again, you wanted to talk to me on prom night, but never did. You just stared at me, am I right? <laughs> All right. Hey, give me a shot of vodka. You want to hear the truth? Anyone would want to. I wanted to ask you for a dance, really. But I'd never danced, so I got scared. So if we're in this together, then here's the arrangement. I think it makes more sense, don't you agree? This amount is what you get, while this here goes back to the pool. A partnership between us means 60-40. Logically speaking, I think that's absolutely acceptable for us. Vera, let's get going. Well, we just got here. I have business to attend to. Come on. You can go ahead. I'll be fine. No, I'm afraid that won't do. You and I came here together, and so we're leaving together. Hey, hey, stop it. Don't you Back touch up. me. Come on. Down, or what? <laughs> Wait, 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 calm down, man, calm down. Hey, stop, back off, back off. Okay. All right, no problem, that was a misunderstanding. It's okay, okay, Victor. Friends? You ought to go home now. Hmm. Baby, take it easy. I didn't get you at first. Okay, not here, guys, not here. How long have you been here? About a month ago, a friend and I opened a workshop to make jewelry. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. The pendant. <laughs> I know I don't have the money, but I've always dreamed of it. I'm glad I saw you tonight, Vera. <laughs> I thought you two were a couple. Me and... Oh, Sharky, last I saw him was high school. I only wanted to see you. <laughs> okay. Hold up now. <laughs> <laughs> You're moving too fast. Yeah, what's wrong with that? And the mighty Russian hammer is about to attack. Am I interrupting? Get in the car, Victor, I'll take care of him. What about you? I'll be fine. Go on. Are you like brain dead or something? Did you think you could just humiliate me in front of her? Don't touch me! Or them, and that I just let it slide? Victor! Oh. 
Handle what? But move, 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 move. I won't leave. I said I won't leave you. Follow him. Come on. There he is.
Sharky, the police will be arriving here soon. Victor just broke his leg, three ribs, and has a craniocerebral injury. The surgery was a success, so he'll live. Hey, don't look at me. I didn't even see them leave. dare you even come here? Have you really gone insane? Listen, I didn't want any of this to happen. I'll take care of his rehab, okay? Oh, you'll pay for everything. And you'll go to jail. Don't you dare talk to me like that. So, you're his manager. Listen up. Victor suffered a ruptured aneurysm on impact, causing intracranial hematoma Although the rupture's clotted, he could still experience complications, so keep an eye out on his blood pressure. If he gets dizzy, headaches, any neck pain, call an ambulance and get here ASAP. Yes, understood. And how long will Victor be like that? It's still under observation. And boxing? Will he fight again? Sorry, I didn't explain it clearly. Basically, any blow could kill him. You understand? This isn't about sports. We need to save his life now. We can clip his cerebral vessels, but in this case, based on the exact location of Victor's injury, it'll require precision surgery because it's extremely complicated. The best places for that are Switzerland or Japan. He needs to stay in bed, walk an hour a day, and avoid any stress. Rivera's outbursts are becoming more and more provocative and insulting as time goes by. Meanwhile, Victor's representatives and the athlete himself have yet to comment on the American statements. No date has been confirmed yet. As we know, the Russian hammer is a slow starter, but he drives fast. If his snap doesn't come up with a date by the end of the week, he'll lose the right to challenge Typhoon, and the championship match will go to George Corbin. Hey there. Rivera himself has already told the press that the Russian hammer split before the fight, accusing the athlete of cowardice. Typhoon added that the opponents were scared of him in the ring, but it's the first time anyone has backed off. The Russian athlete's staff has yet to comment on Typhoon's costume remarks. Hey, you aren't allowed to drink. Right. So what else can't I do? Am I even allowed to breathe? You are.
Hello? No. We did. But I really need the money. No, I can't wait. Selling the apartment? Contact the manager. I said, don't you even dare! I'll call you back. I am not the beggar. I don't want to owe anyone a favor. Listen, why don't we take a walk? Yeah, sure, let's go. Over there. That's your house. I used to run up to the window every morning, then I'd see this guy running by. I found out later it was you. Come, let's dance. Let's what? You promised me. We're gonna dance here now. Why wait any longer? You know that you'll be all right. Because you're strong. You'll get better. I'll always be there for you. Vera, just stop it already. Why are you acting like you still love me? You're in too deep and you don't know how to get out. Everything's just an illusion. What are you? Am I what? Look, I don't need your pity. And all your sacrifices as well. Did you hear what I just said? Enough! <laughs> We're not meant to be. Stop pretending. Wait. Victor! Hey, please. Victor! Alec! Alec, how is he? Well, the rupture just burst. Will he go into surgery? Well, say something! They were discharging Victor. They said they can't do anything for him. So you'll just wait for him to die? Hey, you should have taken Sharky's money. He offered it. You should have agreed to it. We could have saved him. Stay away from him. It's his wish. Ты хотел удержать от ошибок меня и просил не бежать от себя, от тебя. Но нельзя умножать капли слез на губах, чтобы мог ты дышать. Я шагну через страх. Отпускать невозможно Любовь по любви Сотни лезвий по коже В секунду прошли Я стерлю эту боль Здесь вина лишь моя И играю я роль Защищая тебя Ты вы Shit. 
Victor needs surgery. He's broke right now. You promised to help him. I did, didn't I? But things change. So you want help? <gasps> and what's in it for me if I do? Hmm? Hey there, champion. Hello, Victor. Why so silent, buddy? Take the money. It's for the surgery. I don't know when we'll be able to repay it, though. We can sort it out later. Don't tell him the money came from me. Or else he won't take it. What made you change your mind? Doing charity is good for karma. Mm -hmm. You can go. There he is. So how was the flight? How are you? I'm crappy as always. Let's get going. Put that camera the... away. Igor Klopkin, I'm from Sports Week. How was your flight? How are you feeling? No comment. I'm just curious about something. We've been informed about your surgery. So is it true? Nope, it's not true. Can you tell us more about that? We were in Switzerland, at the sports camp, doing integrated and specialized training. So you're saying it has nothing to do with the accident that occurred last time, correct? Are you deaf or something? I already told you that we were training in Switzerland. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Stop messing around already and just kill the guy! Hello, 
Vera. Good morning. Good morning. You get prettier every day. Um, where's Sharky? So we've got company, huh? Uh, Why didn't you call? I would have gotten things ready first. Are you hungry? No need. We're on a bit of a schedule. We can have tea, though. With jam, right? Yes, as always. You know, I've been calling you nonstop these past few days. You never pick up a call back. You got me worried about you. The connection's poor sometimes. Oh, is it? I'm planning to switch providers. Your tea's ready, sir. Oh, great. Thank you. So you drink tea, huh? I do. Mmm. Delicious. Try some. I don't have a sweet tooth. Really now? Mm -hmm. But I do. Right, Rivas? Your business is gone. Even your woman is gone now. Got that? Everything belongs to me now, you jackass. Get lost. Okay, then. Sure, you can have my awesome house for now. Take my business and even my woman. Whatever's gone today, I'll win back anyway. Sharky, you are crazy. You need to go into rehab or something. You look like a junkie. Hey, come on now. You know you can't just blame junkies, can you? You gotta integrate them. How about this? Listen, Five hold on now! Us. Listen, it's not about betting. I got a real big deal coming up. Just give me more time. Huh? I'll even give you a cut, man. Okay, now I'm curious. Surprise me. Now hear this. But he's actually handicapped. And nobody knows about it at all. Except me and a couple of people. Then I can shut up permanently if needed. Honestly, I wouldn't share that money, man. But you gotta admit you're interested in it, right? Because you need money too. Money for advertising, and promotion, and royalties. I'll arrange the fight and we'll definitely win. We'll win millions. So join me. And do you understand the risks? I'm dead broke right now. I'm really sad. <laughs> it was seen through the CCTV. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. Your order, sir. Yes, thank you. <laughs> How's Victor doing? You know Victor, you know what he's like. He's doing okay. You two owe me money, remember? Stop staring at me. Did you think that money was a gift? No, not at all. I just thought we had time. Well, now I need my money back. The thing is, we don't have the money yet. There's one solution for this. Which is? Typhoon versus Russian Hammer. No. 
He just got out of surgery. He's not fed for that. Do the people know that? A typhoon will kill him. And Victor is my friend. Victor's a tough cookie. He can't live without fighting. If he's not doing that, he'll turn to alcohol. It's life that will kill him faster than fighting. You should give him what he wants. Good afternoon. Hello. Igor? Hello. You don't look too good. Rough night? Insomnia as usual. Victor. Okay, since we're all here now, time to talk about it. Question. What are we gonna do about Typhoon? Are there any other options? Well, you tell me. What do you think, coach? We've been working our way up for this fight, right? So we can't just give it up. A lot of great athletes sustained the same injury I just had, and they made it back to sports. To boxing? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's the name of that guy? Perov. And the other one, uh, Mohammed. Yeah, you know that guy. And another American. Sure. Mm, just to name a few. Mohammed went through a year of rehab. Victor, you'll come back, but not now. Maybe in a few... Igor, listen. Typhoon's not the type to wait. Am I gonna have to fight my way back to the title? Don't forget, I'm not getting younger either. Alec, talk to him. Buddy, mm? will you get into shape? Sure, there's time for that. You can't be serious. Hey, I just weigh the pros and cons. That's what I do. He's going to be fighting Typhoon, the killer knockout. He'll go from the ring to the morgue. Did you even think about that? That's one hell of a motivation. Thanks, boss. There was no motivation. You've had two surgeries already. 
And do I really have to explain it again to you? Just one blow to the head and... I knock Typhoon out quickly before he can hit me in the head. Seriously? That simple? For the world champion? The surgery has messed up your brains even more! Hey, listen, I can just keep him at a distance and keep counter-punching him with jabs, right? We just need to change the strategy. No, you need to change your head, Victor! Take it easy, let's just talk about it. Is that because of the money? Don't talk to me about money, that's absurd! I pay for the gym, the advertising, and your salary! Right, and you're also paying to work here, huh? I'm and you not think working, you can just hey, stop accusing me, this? that's not okay, the Okay, that's enough! I'm gonna fight Typhoon. This is my choice. So the question is, are you gonna support me or not? I can't be with you or without you. We are partners in this. I'll support you anyway. Thanks, Alec. You, Igor? Listen, this is a deadly game you're gambling in and I'm not a murderer. Is that final? Fine, man. Can you find someone to replace him? Not sure. I can try. Hey, don't worry. You take care. All for victory. Are you happy now? By the way, this is all you're doing. The guy who just walked out that door was the real Russian hammer. And it's been so long since I've seen him. Последним сводком жизни Саха Люди сотканы из амбиций и страха За грехи расплата, девять кругов ада Риски велики, подумай, оно тебе надо Тут редко выпадает 21, но еще реже говоря На этот раз повезло, но оттачивает четко свое мастерство Победа будет всем врагам на свой знай Ведь так или иначе, поздно или рано Карма настигнет каждого спонтанно Проверит, и стал ли ты или хрустально Устал ли ты или же бьешься в отчаянии Кем ты стал, пока там и тут искал Разные пути Забраться на пьедестал Идя свой шторм и шквал О чем мечтал Каким ты видишь свой финал Don't worry, you'll get better. Victor, I understand how you feel about this. But things are a bit different now. Though I promise you, those pills are a sure thing. You should have brought aspirin. Do you want to win, Mr. Aspirin? Look, it's just a metabolic booster so you can recover faster. If we're going to do this, we need to win the fight and look at you right now. Victor, you'll stop taking it three weeks before the match. It won't show up on the tests then. It's not about the testing. What then? It's sports principles, right? Are you sure Rivera doesn't dope himself? That's up to him. Well, you're up to me. I've been doing this thing for 15 years. I've been doing this since high school. I know this. This is my business. It's my life. My opinion counts. Do you hear me, man? Listen to All me. All right, fine. You're too wound up.
I really want you to win, do you hear me? With every single cell of my body. I don't even care about the money. I want you to be strong on that day. I only want you to be strong for the fight. I never would have even offered you this if it wasn't for your damned injury. I want you to get in the ring and rip that champion to pieces and win. This come with instructions. Huh? The instructions, man. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, it's all in there. All right, now wipe your ass with it. Hold on. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, is someone expecting you? Yes. Mm -hmm. May I take your order? You're looking good, as always. You too. So how was the surgery? Well, I'm still alive, right? Can I bring you something? No need, thank you. I saw your poster today. The date's already set. Will you really fight? What's the matter? Didn't Sharky tell you about it? What did the doctor say? Well, what can they actually say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine, okay? You shouldn't do it, Victor. Yeah, why not? He's setting you up. He's making money off you. And he's the one helping Alec organize this match. I don't get it. Why would he need to do that? Because he owes some serious people money. He knows about your injury and wants to make money off your loss. Well, you know what? Why don't you go and tell him that that motivates me to win even more? Please don't be misled by him, Victor. Cancel the fight. Just stop, Vera. It was my decision to take on that fight. I've already made up my mind. I don't give a rat's ass about his bet. It's my fight. Why are you talking to me like this? How? As if I were your enemy. <sighs> You know, that's not true. All right, Vera. Listen, thanks for the info. It was good to see you. I gotta go. I'm on a strict diet. I'm sorry. Victor. I don't want us to be strangers. Don't worry about it, it's all right. It's a choice you made. It's just that I didn't think you'd choose him. Why do you think I'm with him? All right, please don't start. Vera. What is it? Look, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean for this to happen to us. Why are you such a fool? Do you think I wanted this? I'm sorry if I did hurt you somehow. Now go fight, you do what you want. I did all I could for you.
sporting event of the year. Both contending athletes have zero losses. They are undoubtedly the strongest fighters in the global Don't take arena. a bottle away, just leave Experts it there. Experts and bookmakers estimate their chances as equal, but the polls are displaying a strong preference for the Russian fighter. Rivera's team said their fighter, Typhoon, has always been in peak shape during his entire career and has already started his rigorous training. What do you think about the upcoming fight? I love history. Russians always fight in the crowd. You always win when you're in the crowd. You don't have no chance fighting me hand to hand. No chance. Both contending athletes have zero losses. They are without a doubt two of the strongest fighters in the worldwide arena. Experts and bookmakers estimate their fighting chances to be on equal grounds, but the surveys are showing a strong preference for the Russian fighter. Victor! Hammer! Hey, Victor! Victor! Let me introduce you to your new trainer, Vitaly. Assistant coach Sergei. This is Victor. Victor. The guys take the sport seriously. Hey, I think you'll get along Come well. On. Just give us a minute. What's wrong? What? Is it true? What? Yeah, you know what. Victor, I don't understand. I trusted you! The Fighter, Episode 4. Victor, let's talk. You wanted a fight? I got you a fight. Do you think this is easy? Do you know how much Typhoon asked for? Do you have that kind of money? You wasted everything I earned for you. Everything's on the line now. You didn't go to the Federation. Sharky gave you the money, right? Why did he give it to you? Vera. After the fight, you and I are done. We'll go our separate ways. Promised me. I promised to give him the money too, and I did that. Why are you so concerned about him? You know he just had an operation, right? He can't be in the ring. Listen to me. I made him an offer, and he agreed. So did you. Besides, it's too late to back out now. Drink. Let's toast to the future. Drink. I swear, I'll never... Just don't well, it's just that... They brought it on themselves. Come on, I'll let you sleep on the sofa. Let's go. Come on. Up. Uh, three, four... Vera. Hello. Let's have a chat. Sit down. Come on, stop it. Sit, we need to talk. Please. I said sit down. Vera, dear. Listen, I thought we were back together, my darling. What's going on? I slept with you for money. There's nothing between us. Now move. You're not going you anywhere. You can't stop me. You're not going anywhere. You're mine. You got I that. Step aside. Ah! Come on, lie down. Victor, sit down. 
Come on, lie down. I have to get up at six for a run. Sit, sit, sit. Do you think I was afraid? Yeah, I think you were. Well, thank you for being honest. You got used to winning. First with you, then with me. It was easy for you. If I lose, they'll say Igor quit because he didn't believe I can win. And you? Do you believe? Oh, believe it or not, I prefer to get knocked out first round. Well, you see, if I refuse, I'm never going to forgive myself. I might as well try, and at least I'll know. I did everything I could to win. Victor, you can't go out and fight. You're just not ready for a match yet. And there's no time to get ready. I'm not afraid for myself, but for you. This is the time when I need you more than ever, Igor. This moment! You're giving up on me. I made a promise to your mother that I would take care of you. You know, you're like a father to me. I came to you when I was this small. You molded me. I did everything you told me to do. I trusted you. You said never to give up and understand exactly what you're fighting for. Or were you just saying that all to me, just to be pompous? You know what? At least I know what I'm fighting for. For what? For myself. And for you. For my mother. And for all the people who look up to me. This is our fight. It's not only mine. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to hide anything. It's real hard for me to bear this burden alone. I'm scared. But I'm going to go in. And I need your help. Victor, I can't let you go in the ring. He's stronger than you. Don't place your trust in Alec. The guy can easily buy and sell anyone for money. Victor. Only I will tell you the truth. Try to understand. Igor. Please listen to Please me, son. Down. Please listen. Calm down. Victor. Calm down. It's fine. Victor. Victor, please forgive me for yesterday. I said a lot of nonsense. No. Maybe we could meet up today. No, Victor. Don't ever call me again. Good girl. You just saved two lives, yours and his. If I ever see you two together again, I'll end both of you. You got that? Do you understand?
Get warmed up. If you want to dig your grave, the least we can do is to do it properly. Igor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's enough. Let's get to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Знаешь, это когда мама фортуна по базар. Кровь кипит, глаза горят. Один шанс оставить. So how do we beat this guy? In rounds one and two, he usually tests his opponent in the ring. He studies it, looking for his weak spots, and he eventually finds them. Round three, he starts the pressure. He knows exactly where to hit. He knows how to set up a trap for his enemy, and then he lures him to come into it. He pounds you like a freight train. By the third round, he can already read you like a book. So there's nothing that you can do to stop it. So I have to put him down in round one. But the question is how? Dominate with your fighting style. Take the first initiative and keep your distance away from him. Attack, defense, counterattack. You gotta be precise if you want to beat him. You're the boss of the ring from the first moment. Let kick, harder, harder, dominate. Does it hurt? No. Does it hurt? No. Does it hurt? No. Bear the pain. You have to endure it. Treat pain as a friend. You have to love her. Don't be scared of her. Damn, Igor, you're a monster. I have to make sure you're going to get through this. It's better to learn this now than during the fight. I get it. It's all right. Rest it. Get up. Go, run. No, come on. Now run. <sighs> All right, cut. We'll have to ask some questions. Where's the best spot? Well, I think it's good to shoot here with the boys in the back. Then we'll shoot how you train in the ring. Stand here. Can you ask the boys to spar with each other in the background? All right, guys, do five minutes of active sparring. I want you Action. guys here, two there, two over there. And then how will you evaluate your opponent? Typhoon is a serious, quick fighter with good technique. But of course he has his weaknesses. Which ones? <laughs> I'd be silly to tell you that now. <laughs> Sports analysts consider you to be approximately equal fighters, but it seems that bookmakers are showing a little bias leaning more towards you. How do you rate your chances? You know, so many people have sent me words of support online. And with this kind of support, I don't have the right to lose. You know, okay. Excellent. So maybe it's time to move to the ring? Yes. Go set up over there. Get into position. Now fight fairly. Fight. Victor, stop showing off! Hey, 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 what's going on, Victor? Stop! I don't believe this. Victor, what are you doing, huh? It was an accident. I'm sorry I didn't oh, mean you, to. Oh, Victor. Okay. Can you see? Do you hear me? That's all right. I'm fine. I'm okay.
going, just listen to me. It was a punch, just a light jab to the head. I can't find him, he doesn't have a phone. So listen, if... I'm sorry. We cancel the fight. Yes, Igor's right. We have to cancel the fight. What? Will you pay the forfeit? What do you mean, pay for the forfeit? We can't talk about money now. Who do you think I am? Yeah, sorry. I just wanted you to come by and take a look at things. No, just wait. Listen to me first. You are my team. I need all of you. We know what's at stake here. Igor, how I fight depends on how you motivate me. If you want to leave, leave. Just don't tell me I'm going to lose the fight. And if you choose to stay, you two need to stop whining. Victor, don't. I just want to talk. Really? About what, Victor? Could we at least have some coffee? <laughs> I'm not going to talk you out of it. But why are you doing this? Truth is, I don't have a choice. My life boils down to this. You know how many letters I get every single day? If I back out, I'm done. For them, for myself. Have you been doing? Please forgive me, Vera. Forget it, Victor. It's not your fault. You're not going to go back to him. Forget it. You don't know him. He's a psycho. Yes, hello? Hello. Dinner is ready. I'm waiting for you. Come on over. Hello. This is the champion. And if I see you with her again, I'm gonna kill you. Waiter, check please. Have a nice day. So how much is it? Good day to you, sir. No need, it's all in the house. No, for real? Thank you. We're rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> Victor, Victor, could you sign this? Your name? Alex. All right. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You. Go, Victor. Vera. Vera. Listen, I don't plan on ever letting you go. Never again.
What if I ask you to do something that's very important? I'd still fight anyway. Promise me you'll win. I promise you. came all the way to, to your city. Russian hammer, where are you? You are, you are so confident of victory. You know, Russian, together, they are strong. But when they are alone, they are not strong. To me, it's going to be a light training session. And your guy won't make it. Promise you. Yeah. I promise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have no Manuel Rivera versus Victor Stroyev. September 12, St. Petersburg, Cyber Arena. Auto Radio, News Block. Auto Radio has learned from the emergency services that St. Petersburg is getting ready for a flood. The tower. number you have dialed is turned off or is out of coverage area. Above two oh, what? Years. Government officials have been monitoring She won't pick up? Please stay tuned as the Say something. Continues. In other news, traffic it's turned is off. piling up along the highway because of... Call her house. Maybe she's at home. Stay tuned for more. Good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. For the very first time in the great city of St. Petersburg, an event of this magnitude that everyone has been waiting for. We're inside a brand new arena, which has never before seen an event with this electrifying intensity. All of the tickets were sold out a whole three weeks before the match. Viktor Stroyev in St. Petersburg is already a national hero. The city absolutely adores him. We cannot wait for the fight. Don't let him take a break, not for a second. Tackle him straight on. You only have five minutes, Victor. Just one round, okay? Hello, everyone. Igor, can I have a minute? I need to talk to him. Right now? Right now. Maybe you should get out of here. Igor. Fighters, clear the room. How are you? Are you ready, Hammer? Hey, listen, I bet everything I've got on this fight. Then I feel real sorry for you. <laughs> Have to get ready, you mind? Yes, well, I don't need your sympathy. I want you to understand something, Victor. I bet everything on you losing the match tonight. So make sure you lose. Well, now I guess I have to win. What about Vera? I have her. Either you lose or I'm gonna have her killed. If you so much as touch her, you feel me? <laughs> if anything bad happens to her, I'm gonna kill you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud to present to you the main title event of the year in the spectacular world of mixed martial arts. A fight for the title of the middleweight division, MMA World Champion! Listen to me, Hammer. Don't throw in the towel right away. Dance around for a couple of rounds, and then you tap out. Lie down on the mat and don't try to do anything funny. I don't play without a trump card up my sleeve, Victor! In the blue corner, the fighter who hails from the United States of America, let's please welcome Manuel Rivera! Who is also known as Typhoon! 
what a romantic melody. He's using one of the most famous tango songs in the world to make his grand entrance. What a striking difference from the powerful fight that we're all expecting to witness in the ring tonight. Oh yeah, that's my boy. He's gonna win. This fighter is most famous for his devastating punches. He is unbelievably aggressive, and he can even be called merciless during a fight, which is a well-known fact to all fighters around the world. So, in the blue corner of the ring, the fighter who is currently the MMA middleweight champion of the world, Manuel Rivera! Victor, is everything okay? He's got her. If I win, he's gonna kill her. Our very own local hero, the rising star from Russia! Let's all please welcome Victor! Strides confidently into the arena with his song. But it's a local song, so it's probably not that well known by people around the world. Viktor Stroyev, the fighter who the whole world also knows as the Russian Hammer, the Russian Mallet. Well, Viktor, we wish you the best of luck. We wish for you not to lose first and foremost. Remember to stay true to yourself, as we all know you to be. We're rooting for you. Ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring, there in the red corner, the main contender for the world champion's title belt for the MMA middleweight division, our countryman, Victor Stroyev, who is also known as the Russian Hammer. Let's give him a warm welcome. And now, my friends, the moment that we've all been waiting for. The fight is finally about to start. Are you ready? Ready. Fight! Low kick. Put your hands higher. Hit him harder. Come on, man. Oh my God. Come on. What great passion from the very first minute. Are you seeing what's happening in the ring right now?
performance is astounding. He definitely decided to finish the match in the first round. Rivera is having a hard time getting out of the corner to attack. Keep on giving him hell, Victor. You gotta get him in the next round, right, man. You are the champion. Keep your distance. Don't let him get close to you. Don't lower your hands at any cost. Guard your head, Victor. Your head. Relax, relax. Right, nice, man. Where is she? Come on, focus. Focus, champ. Come on. I'll take care of that. Your fight is here. So what? Are you all right? He's scared of you, man. He's scared of you. Take advantage of that. Hey, breathe. What? Breathe. Take it easy. Just breathe. You ready? You ready? Fight! So now we're in the second round. There was so much in the first round. So much drama, kicks and punches, counterattacks. Keep your guard up! Can you do something like that after the bell? Keep your distance. Rivera keeps punching from the left, which means his main punch will come from the right. So just keep your focus on his right hand. You got that? I can't see anything with my left eye. Hey, stop! Hey, stop. stop. Hey, go back. Back.
Victor! It's all right. Okay. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. like Victor got the Rivera's onslaught, who is clearly at his best tonight. And Struyev is on the offensive! That was a magnificent takedown, and Victor finally brings the action down to the mat! No, Rivera finds a way out. Stand up, keep moving, then let him pin you down. Victor, come on. a leg kick from a distance. Victor, careful out there. He is finishing his opponent off on the ground. Looks like victory, my friends! This should be enough to finally end this awesome match! Hey, stop, stop! Fight over! Yeah! yeah. Victor, victor is victorious!
How's mm -hmm. Alec? The ambulance took him. His face was injured, but he'll survive. And Sharky. Get rid of the press, please. I don't have any strength right now. Let's go home. Give me the keys, I'll drive. Here. This is for you. What's that? It'll protect you. Thank you for this. Thank you. Activity stopped. The high winds of the cyclone have brought heavy rain to the massive storm. This has resulted in heavy damage. A few dozen trees have fallen in the city. The storm is predicted to stay until tomorrow. Rescue teams ask for residents and guests to exercise extreme vigilance and to take all necessary precautions. Get off the lane. Victor, what's he doing? Looks like he's gonna hit us. Damn it. Take it easy, take it easy. Sharky. Gas. I can't go faster, the road is slippery! Be all right. Faster, faster! Go through the 
the tunnel. Step on it, we're almost there. Прощайте, добро и зло. Прощайте, ненависть и любовь. 
Прощайте, добро и зло. Прощайте, друзья и враги мои. Прощайте, миллионы и долги мои. Аллилуйя.